Good evening and welcome to my laboratory. That, as I hope you can see, is an, uh, an IRF PG50 MOSFET. And it's in a little socket and I have it hooked up to a very simple circuit. There are a couple of extra components on this board that are not being used. This is a potentiometer and that's a little thermistor. They are not in the, this demonstration. What I'm going to be doing is using the MOSFET to turn on a load that's between the MOSFET's positive rail, load, drain, source, negative rail. Okay, And the gate of the MOSFET comes back over here to this terminal and I've got the red output lead of my function generator connected to the gate of the MOSFET. This down here is the negative rail, so there's the black output of the function generator and the scope probe's negative lead there. The scope probe is looking at the drain of the MOSFET. And the easiest place for me to get to that is at the bottom of the load. And uh, so when the MOSFET switches, we'll be able to see that on the oscilloscope as well as being able to see it with the light. Okay. Now I'm supplying the positive and negative, whoops, sorry, get back on there. There we go. I'm supplying the positive and negative rails of the circuit with about 12 and a half volts from the Elenco power supply and that's uh, enough to power that little uh, type 157 um, automotive bulb there. Okay. And uh, let's see, I've got the function generator set at 1 kilohertz to make a triangle ramp. And what I'm going to be doing is controlling the output level and the offset of that triangle ramp that we're going to be giving to the MOSFET's gate. Okay. So let's take a look at the oscilloscope. The top, I've got the baselines indicated right there. That radical marker is the zero baseline for channel one, and that's the zero baseline for channel two. Uh, let me turn on channel one. Channel one is monitoring the triangle wave output. I'm varying the output magnet amplitude there. Triangle one, or channel one, will be monitoring the amplitude of the triangle wave output of the function generator. Okay. And as I said, uh, oops, sorry, that's where its baseline is right there. And we'll be looking at that channel one at five volts per division because we're just directly plugged into the function generator. We don't have any attenuating probe there. Okay. And then the channel two uh, will be essentially looking at the voltage drop across the MOSFETs. Uh, drain source channel when we uh, when we're driving it. So on channel two, we're going to be looking at that at uh, one tenth of a volt per division using a 10x attenuated probe. Okay, and the horizontal time base is at two tenths of a millisecond per division or 200 microseconds per division horizontally. And so you should be able to tell from that that we are in fact at around a thousand hertz there, a little bit over one kilohertz, okay? All right, now let's take a look at the experiment. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do now is turn up the amplitude until we get up to about 10 volts peak to peak or plus 5 volts minus 5 volts on the triangle ramp, okay? So watch the load. All right, that's just over five volts there, and I think you can see that the load is glowing, uh, but it's not fully bright, right? All right, so let's see what the drain source signal looks like. Okay, so the load, uh, let me turn the amplitude of the triangle ramp down again. All right, so I hope you can see that the 
these valleys here represent when the MOSFET turns on, the voltage across the MOSFET drops, right, and the light turns on. So when that peak goes over about plus four volts or so, that's when the MOSFET turns on, and then when the peak drops, that's where the MOSFET turns off. And you get a little bounce there because of the induction of the leads and the scope probes and everything like that. All right. But the point I'm trying to make is that when you turn the offset on, like this, and then start applying some offset, turning that positive and positive and positive, you see what's happening there? As I get to more and more positive, in fact, if I go to fully positive, what happens? The MOSFET is staying fully on all the time now. It's not being switched at all. The triangular ramp with the offset cranked up, and I don't even have it cranked up all the way, that's just uh, about halfway up to the full offset deflection of this function generator. This Interstate F43 high voltage function generator is capable of 40 volts peak to peak. Okay, so even, even turning the offset knob up that far, right, which is only a 5 volt, about a 10 volt, so let's see, 5 volts, 10 volts positive offset. The MOSFET stays on 100% of the time. It's not switching at all. And if it's carrying any kind of current, it's going to get warm. Is the message beginning to sink in here? Offset cranked up. MOSFET stays on 100% of the time. Thank you for watching.